Woodworking is a traditional art form brought in from Europe and passed on from generation to generation. And some of the finest examples can be found in Tome, located south of Albuquerque between Los Lunas and Berlin. The Tome Gallery Wood Show begins today. And here to give us a glimpse of the designs uh, that you can see there are uh, Erling Smith. We also have Leonard Sims and also Phil Norton. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So glad to have you on. You have some beautiful stuff, and I can't wait to talk about that. And I also want to hear about your backgrounds. You guys come from very different backgrounds. Uh, tell us what inspired your visions. Erling, you first. Well, I've been working with tools and all my life, and I saw a picture of one of these in a mm -hmm. magazine. And because of my engineering background, I said, I know how to do that. Yeah, so you're a self-taught, yeah. right? Well, I, I thought I knew how to do that. You know? <laughs> Did it take a while to it, kind of get going with well, it? Well, it right there's away? more to it than you would think, Sam, because all the pieces have to fit. Mm -hmm. You have. To, I may. I spend about a week on a drawing mm -hmm. before I ever cut a piece of wood. Yeah. And, uh, wow. Well, I think it looks like it would take a lot to to to, to create that. That's, that's, that stuff's absolutely beautiful. Now, what about you, Leonard? What's your background? Well, I primarily started when I was in the military. I mm -hmm. was. Uh, stationed up in Fort Greeley, Alaska, and I saw people doing this work, and I was mm -hmm. fascinated with the, with the wood, the diamond willow in particular, and I just started making the wood pieces, and, and uh, I started making pieces for uh, different people, uh, v visitors that would come up into uh, Fort Greeley. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for them to, uh, <laughs> I would love to be able to be one of those visitors to, to receive one of those. That's absolutely gorgeous. Now, what about you, Phil? Well, I spent most of my life working with, for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. I was a manager at the Bosque del Apache for a good long while. Mm -hmm. uh, after I retired, uh, I was looking for something of, for the different side of me, I guess you might say, mm -hmm. than being a government bureaucrat. I wanted something that was hands on. That's very hands on. I've always liked woodworking. Uh -huh. And after I retired, I got into wood turning, and now then, uh, uh, some people call me obsessed with it. Obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> so you like to do it, and you do it a lot. Now you've each brought a sample of your work, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the pieces that you brought. What did you bring? Phil? Okay, I brought two pots here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, a pot made out of salt cedar or tamarisk. Uh huh. Um, I tell everybody that I spent a large part of my career trying to figure out how to get rid of salt cedar <laughs> along the river. So but that's where you get it from. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm doing it one piece at a time. One. How long does it take to do that? Uh, a good while, because you have to collect it. You have to mm -hmm. cut it up, try to dry it without it cracking. You right. rough turn it, then you final turn it, and wow. uh, then... It's beautiful, and, so smooth. And this is uh, ironwood that a friend of mine picked mm -hmm. up down in the desert in southern New Mexico and brought it up really for firewood. And uh -huh. I got it from him, and <laughs> I think it's a beautiful that is piece of gorgeous. wood. gorgeous, yeah. But I love the southwestern Indian pottery shapes. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, well, you, you can see that influence there. Yeah, and yeah. those, and it, does it, can any wood? do or no? Well, you want really the harder the wood, the better. Hmm. Uh, soft woods like fir or pine, they tend to she uh, tear instead of shearing. Mm -hmm. So the hardwood is Okay, nice. so you're looking for the hardwood. Now, yeah. Leonard, what did you bring? I brought uh, two pieces here. Uh, one first piece is this, uh, the walking stick. The walking stick. Oh, and this gorgeous. is diamond willow. And this is primarily wood that comes from Alaska. Oh wow! And the 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 head of it is a uh, spruce barrel, also made from in, uh, from Alaska. From Alaska. How long did it take you to make that? Uh, this was all hand hand done, mm -hmm. and this took me about 10, 15 hours of work wow. in order to finish this piece. That is gorgeous. Now, how do you guys get it so shiny on the outside? Oh, uh, those are just uh, polyurethane, polyurethane finishes. Finish? finish on here. It protects it too. Yeah. The other piece I brought is a gourd that I that I. Uh, become interested in, mm -hmm. and I incorporated on the on the gourd. These are all uh, ancient African symbols on here, Andinka symbols, and each of the symbols basically uh, signify a different trait. Mm -hmm. And for a quick example, uh, this one here is the ladder of death, and it just signifies the ages mm -hmm. that you go through in life, uh, youth adolescence, middle age, and old age. Oh, wow. That's, that's beautiful. I love all the colors involved, yeah. too, and then it's symbolic as well. Yes. And now, also, Erling, you brought in a couple of things, too. Will you tell us about what you brought in? Well, they're just 
of the things that I typically make. You uh, make it sound so simple. A wood bowl. <laughs> well, <laughs> it is and it isn't. Right. Okay? <laughs> the, most of the cuts are simple, but when you get into the uh, the patterns in there, then it gets a little more intricate. And, uh, mm -hmm. the, there's there's 400, 404 pieces individually wow. cut and put together on this bowl. Well, what holds them together? Oh, uh, wood glue. Wood glue? Uh-huh. Do so you, do you have to sand it down then? and? How do you guys get the shapes going? I, I, I don't understand how you do well, this stuff. Well, they're pretty right. ugly when you start. <laughs> <laughs> and these these are some of the pieces that oh, okay. see. were made. These were, you know, make, when you're doing this, you make a spare because you might mess it up somewhere along the way. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, those are nice. So this is what it kind of looked like before, and then That's you put it all it together. That's what it looks like, and, you and it's, look. it's real clunky looking when you start out. Mm-hmm. And, and then, then, you, then you mount it on the lathe, and you carve it away, and... There you go. And then I can yeah. see the engineer at work here. You got the degrees and everything yeah. going, so make yeah. sure it's perfect. All right, well, let's talk about the exhibit. It kicks off today, and there is a Meet the Arts reception on Sunday. So um, let's go ahead and talk about that. I think we actually have some pictures or graphics of some of the stuff that you're going to see if you head out that way. Let's go ahead and take a look at it on the screen. Do we have it? I think it's coming. There it is. So mm -hmm. we have some more woodworks to look at. Can you tell me a little bit about what's on here? Is this yours? Yeah, it was mine, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's... They're going by pretty fast. What's this one? That one is is mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you well, know. you can all come. And this was yours too, right? I can kind of, I yeah, can that's tell, okay. yeah. That's that one, uh-huh. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then this, this is yours, this Bill, is right? Land. This is out of white oak. White oak. From up around Magdalena. So you, um, it's the Indian pottery shape again. Mm-hmm. And that's also, that's an oak burl. Ooh, and I turned really it while pretty. it was still moisture in it, so it moved. You can see it's no longer really round or not. That is beautiful. Yeah. And this? Who did this? I don't know. Oh, so it's just something <laughs> we'll see there, but that's gorgeous too. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> do, do most of you, like, so you, you get your wood imported in and then Phil, you usually try to find your wood around here? Yeah. Around yeah. locally? Okay, well let's give everybody information so they can get out to the, the to the Tomei Gallery here, the Art Gallery, to see all this good stuff. If you want to go, it's at 2930 Highway 47, Los Lunas, New Mexico. The gallery hours are daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And again, uh, the art gallery, the show starts today, so make sure you get out there. Thanks so much for coming in, guys. Beautiful work. Thank so you. You're very welcome. Thank you. All right, still ahead, Nikki's mixing things up with the Liquid Muse. Stick around.